application is completed successfully so let's take a look on action item what's left one thing i do remember that we haven't done that we created a script a sql server agent job script we scripted all the jobs on our um, uh, source server and we haven't run that script on our destination server one one reason i haven't run that script is because um, um, we scripted all the jobs including the replication jobs during the replication i mentioned that uh, replication related jobs you don't need to bring it to your destination server so what I'm going to do go back and uh, script only the jobs that is not replication related so let's go ahead go back to our source SQL server this is our source SQL server and these are the jobs mostly jobs are um, replication related this is a sys policy per job history that gets created by the system when you install a SQL Server so I'm not worried about that everything else looks like uh, it's a um, replication only job that I can see right here is my backup job that is my maintenance job keep in mind this job was created just for the uh, purpose of uh, my um, migration so it, it is related to a maintenance plan uh, all I need to do is look at the maintenance plan and I can go ahead and create the maintenance plan which ultimately will go ahead and create the same job so all I need to do is just go in management, look at the maintenance plans, and this is the maintenance plan, double click and just look at the configuration of this maintenance plan. And we will create the same maintenance plan uh, on our destination server. So maintenance plan is backing up, full backup of all user databases. So we're gonna go ahead and create this maintenance plan on our um, destination server so in case that you have other application related jobs that is running on sql server you can script that out out or other maintenance job that's running on your sql server agent jobs i'm glad that i showed you that how to script all the agent jobs but uh, really you don't need to run the um you you don't need to script the replication jobs so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to create the same maintenance plan as it existed on our um source server so here's our um destination server so I'm going to go ahead and go in management maintenance plan right click backup user databases and um, go to tools grab the backup database task right here let's configure it and select user databases and we do want to ignore the databases that's offline we don't want this job to fail if it finds database offline so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and I cannot see OK in my screen right here you can go ahead and change the path according to your backup directory whatever your backup directory is going to be on your destination server I'm okay with the default one right here So I have configured that as soon as I save this, this is going to create a job for me. And uh, I up here, the description, <clears throat> I don't want it to call it sub plan, user, I want to call it full, and description is full backup of user databases. Click OK, and save all. Let's refresh the maintenance plan. Here is our backup maintenance plan and let's take a look on the job. And here is backup user database full. So this is our maintenance job. So let's go ahead, go back and see what we did. Just to recap, um, we went ahead and we made sure that our destination SQL server is ready. And then we moved our migration folder to our destination server. We restored and changed the compatibility. We ran the script, uh, login script and we went through some of the limitations of this particular script when you move login from source to destination. And we created the link server and we created, uh, we ran other scripts such as trigger and made sure that uh, if trigger has uh, any system objects that is user created, um, user defined system objects on the system databases because we're not um, restoring the system databases. So that's why we need to bring all the uh, user defined job uh, objects on the system databases. So we did that. A data collection, we never had the data collection, but uh, I showed you that uh, how you can script that out. 
and uh, everything else replication is was the major part in our demo so we went ahead and take a, took a look on replication uh, and uh, also whatever um, the issues we ran into we fixed it right there so this is uh, basically this is the completion of demo if I have missed anything um, Please leave it in, in comment and I can make a separate video out of that and I hope this uh, demo helps.